You know, I tell people all the time, though, like, my people be getting paid when I don't get paid. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's one of the things in entrepreneurship that, you know, as an entrepreneur, you so focus on your money, but I'm always investing in the business, and sometimes it don't pay off right away. You know what I'm saying? And so that's one of the things, you know, I can't tell George and people on the team that I ain't making no money. You know what I'm saying? This, we in a hole. But I believe in the vision. And if you believe in the vision, you got to be willing to go in the hole. Remember this, when you plant the seeds, you got to go down first before it can come up. So we did. Turn it up. Let the beat ride, Dad. Tracks need to have your shit, my nigga. But we're gonna work on that, because then we're gonna do is we're gonna drop a soundtrack. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna drop the soundtrack, and on the soundtrack, it's gonna be your shit. We're gonna sell that at $9.99. Put that out there. Ah. You produce it, I co produce it, yeah? yeah man. Let me work, man. Come on, man. Y'all let me work, man. This nigga over here doing some weird ass shit. Talking about, we can sell it. Wow. She be George talking about. Oh, what is that? Cream. That's good for tonight. Ooh, hoo, hoo. That's the new cream for the night. Man, that's the same cream though, George. Nah, man, check it out. Put it back to it. Put it next to it. All right. Got one gloss and one flat. All right. Same thing. It's right for here. tonight. It's for tonight. Same thing right here. You got this. Oh, this the hoodie. That's the hoodie. That's Ooh, he popped up. Hey, y'all. I want y'all to know something, man. Y'all see this, man? This ain't no, this ain't no, this ain't no regular degular. You know what I'm saying? Look at that, man. Look at that, man. Look at that velvet. Zoom in on that camera, man. Look at that velvet. Come on, man. Look at the back of that, man. You know what, man? We all on the inside, dude. We not playing. Look, ain't no other tags. Ain't no towel tags. Ain't no towel tags. Come on, man. Stop playing with trap, man. Come on, ain't no gilding. All right, bro. What we got over here, man? So it's George, man. He telling me. Yeah, this is all new inventory coming in, just getting all these new boxes in the inventory, shipping away. Are these on deck? What see how it says, yeah, cream yeah. hoodie? Mm -hmm. Do you I, counted I, them? I doubled up. I checked all the boxes and checked them for what they got in them. Individually, all yeah, of them? All of them. That's why they all. All right, what's new? We got. We got olive. We got. Let uh, me see it. We got. All of these cream hoodies? Not all of them. Yo, when I drop this merch, dog. Not all. Of them. Here we go. Hey, when we drop this merch. Telling y'all, man. Okay. Okay. Ooh, I like it. And I like it. And I like it. Out of green, my favorite color. I like that. Yeah, out of green, my favorite color. Y'all be ready. We coming. We coming. Ooh, we coming. Stop playing. Look at the inside. I keep telling y'all, we not playing. We went straight to the plug. Look, look, we went straight to the plug. We went straight to what? Columbia! <laughs> Columbia! <laughs> Taking y'all with me on a journey, man. Listen, entrepreneurship is not easy, but it's not hard. You gotta have patience more than anything. Patience gotta be the key. You know what I'm saying? And look, y'all, this all I wear is my stuff every day, all day. You know what I'm saying? Look at this right here. Well, there's your birthright, man. We putting in work. Listen, I'm gonna turn this to, I'm gonna turn this to a million dollar brand, y'all. You did? We got the people coming in. I think y'all saw that on last episode. We got the people coming in. You know, they're going to come in and put the barcodes on. We're going to make this easier for George to knock out. Let's see what George got going on, man. Ooh, ooh that's funky. Cotton candy. Ooh, cotton candy. Tweet go. Let me see you. Tootsie roll. Oh, come on. Tootsie roll. You see Tootsie roll, cut? You know Tootsie roll, cut? Not today. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Say, bro, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. This shit been a journey, man. This shit been a journey, just. <sighs> y'all don't even know, man. Putting this whole thing together, building this shit out, this shit been a journey, man. Figuring this shit out, you know, mapping this shit out. 
you know, getting cuz in here. You know, I tell people all the time, though, like, my people be getting paid, but I don't get paid. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's one of the things in entrepreneurship that, you know, as an entrepreneur, you so focus on your money, but I'm always investing in the business, and sometimes it don't pay off right away. You know what I'm saying? And so that's one of the things, you know, I can't tell George and people on the team that I ain't making no money. You know what I'm saying? This, we in a hole. But I believe in a vision. And if you believe in a vision, you got to be willing to go in the hole. Remember this, when you plant a seed, you got to go down first before it can come up. What's good, Trappers, man? It's your boy, The Wall Street Trapper. Right now, I want to invite you to an amazing experience full of value. That is my community, Trappers Anonymous. It's 100% the greatest fundamental investing community on the market. Listen. Your portfolio should be a masterpiece. And the only way we get you there is if we help you to learn how to invest with confidence. Now listen, I get it. Like you don't know a lot about stocks or maybe you've heard people say how much money they lost in stocks, but I can guarantee you one, because they weren't in the community and two, they lacked the information. Our goal in Travels Anonymous is to help you, really to hold your hand on the journey to becoming a confident, investor learning how to navigate through the different events that the stock market goes through to bring your temperament down to take you from panic, panic. to encouragement so listen man come join us and trap us anonymous the link is below listen if you want to be helped if you want to truly make money in the stock market if you truly want to let your money work harder for you than you work for it there's no better time than now this is an opportunity only for those who are willing to be on the journey so listen, man, click the link below. Come join me in Travis Anonymous, man. I will see you in one of our mini classes, whether it's Moat Monday, whether it's the two-hour class we do on Sunday, or whether it's just a book club. Everything is geared toward making you a better investor so you can triple your network and turn your last name to an asset. It's your boy, Wall Street Trapper. See you in the trap. We're trying. Let me hit my track for the night. You got 10 slides? 10 slides so far. Should have 15 coming. I mean, should have 15 all together. That'll get us through the night. 15 to get us through the night. Y'all see we in a trap tonight. You dig? We getting ready for the Christmas special. This is what we got tonight, are you? Nah, it's Christmas episode, so we just want, you know, we want just, so the goal for the Christmas episode is like we did for Thanksgiving, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know Trap and Tools is going to be live, yeah. but this the holiday episode, so it's for this. Christmas Day, Sunday? Yeah, it's Christmas Day, so I want, we got to figure out what time we're going to do it. Um, I'm thinking maybe like 2 o'clock. Yeah, two o'clock, two thirty. Around the same time. Something two o'clock, two thirty is good. And the goal behind that is just simple. We want we look at it from this perspective. If everybody gonna be with their family, mm -hmm. right? Nobody else ain't dropping the episode on Christmas. Same way nobody dropped the episode on Thanksgiving. Man, same. Everybody, on everybody chilling. You feel me? It's a Sunday. Right, it's Christmas, but that's where we come in at because we already got our tribe, you know what I'm saying? If we got our tribe, we know one thing our tribe gonna do, they're gonna trap. So, I think that's what I'm gonna start doing now, though. I think moving forward, yeah. I think because in the beginning, I wasn't so much focused on like branding Wall Street Trapper, like how people were, you know, like. Go all out, get PR. Uh, yeah, I was everything I was getting was yeah everything I was getting was just somebody seeing it. Even with the Ellen show, God bless my brother Twitch, who just you know passed away. But it was from Breakfast Club. It was people seeing me like, yo, you need to you need to get that dude. Like he's different, you hear me? But I think now um, with me, I want to brand a network, and so I think for that I'm gonna have to go in my heavy exposure bag. So when you think about the Wall Street look like us not our network, bro, my goal, I'm not going to even lie to you, dog. Like, my goal is so big. My goal is like, bro, like, we're going to become, like, we're going to shoot our movies. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Like, we gonna shoot movies. You know what I'm saying? Like, two, three, four million dollar movies. You know, nice bunch of movies where it can look good, but it's on our network. But what it is then is, now we are shooting a narrative about us from our perspective. You know who else doing that? Do, uh, Tariq Nasheed. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we doing. So if you see, like, I'm not going to lie, nobody else don't do it. You will see a Haitian revolution come from, you know what I'm saying? You will see a different version of a Black Panther come from here. You will see, like, a African rebellion come from here. You will see, a, you know what I'm saying, a Spanish, you know, talk about the Aztecs. Like, that's a reign that we don't even know about. That we don't talk about. You'll see that. You'll see the Native American influence. Like, you'll see that. We'll talk about that. That's what I want to talk about. I don't want to talk about... And I, I was talking to Lashana yesterday, bro. No lie. I swear. This is about it. He about to get mad on this interview, right, when I say this. <laughs> I said, check this out, yo. So I was telling her this narrative I got. I'm like, yo, like, next, you know, we about to start. Once I get the network going, like, we about to, we going to shoot a movie. Mm-hmm. He did. She was like, bet. I said, listen to me. I'm about to tell you something right now. <clears throat> we not doing no black men in dresses <laughs> on this network. Nah, Watch this, bro. Read, I am not. Watch this, bro. This about to make people cancel me. I'm not doing no homosexual activity on my network. No, I agree. I'm just keeping it 100, dog. Yeah. I don't care what they're talking about, bro. I didn't grow up. That wasn't normal when I grew up, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't care, bro. I don't care. I'm not making black men do that, bro. Or influencing them. There's a whole bunch of other things we got to do outside. I'm not doing it. They got enough of that, bro. And so for me, I'm painting one narrative, bro. That's what I'm going with. I'm going with my move, huh? So I'm just, so for me. I'm not doing none of that. Bro, this is not about that, bro. My my thing is about a couple things, bro. And I'm going to just, I'm going to be painting pictures about, I'm putting positive influence on the streets. You know, showing black men transitioning. All these goddamn black folks that we highlight on Certified Wall Street Trapper, that's moves we could create. Yep. Like, I, I'm going to be real with you. So I just had a talk with Amazon. And they, they was asking me about uh, doing a movie for myself. It's real talk. They were like, yo, you know, we want to do the movie on you. Yada, yada, yada. And I was like, man, they was like, you know, we'll put some millions of dollars behind it. And I was like, all right, bet. Let's talk about it. First thing they told me was uh, they want um, they want to own it. I'm like, why would I write a movie? All right, why would I give y'all control over the movie around my life? All right, that don't make no sense. How I'm gonna give you control about a movie on my life? Right. Now, once I tell you the story, you get to write it how you want it. Yep. You gonna put all kind of bullshit up in there. I don't want to do that. We're not doing that. I said, let's go back to the table. We do it 50-50. I got creative control, though. And then I said, well, we all can do it. Some things we can't talk about. But then I gave them the no-nos. This ain't happening in my story. This ain't happening in my story. This ain't, you know what I'm talking about, you feel me? This ain't happening in my story. We, that ain't happening. Oh, we can, nope, no, no, I'm cool. We're not doing that. We're not adding that to my story, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's the power. So for me, that's why black media is so important. Take your time to build it out. Man, you take your time to build it out, man. It might not happen right now. Man, Ty Perry slept under the bridge, man. Look at him now. He can put 10 bridges on his property. I got seven books in the house right now. You know what I'm saying? I done talk to, I done talk to three different people. What you want to build it on? WordPress? What you want to build it on? How you want to build it out? You got the intellectual property? What do we need? So for me, it's, it's like, how do you build out? That's three years in the making, bro. You know what I'm saying? It costs a bag, but guess what? It don't matter. Your own, here's, I'm going to say this. Ownership ain't never been cheap. Ownership ain't never been cheap. It's the most freedom. It's the most expensive thing you could buy. Mm. Freedom of expensive, yeah. Freedom of freedom of expensive thing you could buy. It's the most expensive thing because that shit costs you everything you got. That shit costs you everything you got, bro. 
Bro, freedom costs you everything. It costs you every. It's no comfort zone. Bro, y'all, bro, I'll be sleeping at night sometimes. Because it's a constant struggle to stay free. It's a constant struggle. And then every level of freedom is different. Every level of freedom is different. Every level of freedom is different. Nobody ain't just like, fuck that, I ain't, that ain't what I'm going to do. I ain't, well, everybody compromise. Everybody like, all right, bro, because we all understand your freedom is an acquired taste, bro. You know what I'm saying? And for me, that's what we putting out here. When we, everything we drop, bro, it's about helping somebody else get closer to their freedom. And the more people we help get closer to their freedom, guess what? The better our fucking network going to be.